Hi, Rob. It has been an absolutely perfect day here in Atlanta. We had some rain earlier this morning. I mean, when I woke up up in Alpharetta, everything was soaked. But as the day went on, you know, dried out, high of about 76. It's probably going to be about 65 game time temperature with about a 15, 10 to 15 mile per hour breeze going on. But other than that, tonight's absolutely gorgeous. Well, as we uh, look ahead a little bit for our Callaway Cavaliers, um, of course, tonight we are facing off against uh, Douglas Astros. And again, they're a school out of Atlanta. Uh, not had a really productive season this year. Maybe I hope they're learning and doing better. But one and seven on the year, oh, uh, and five in the region for them. And Callaway, of course, just is on fire at seven and one. The only loss is to Heard County and 5-0 uh, and oh in the region, um, but, but we are going to, I'm sorry, Harris County, I said Heard, but um, we are going to, uh, we're going to do some things tonight, I hope, that will get Tez uh, ready for postseason play. Yeah. Um, my goal, my goal uh, for Tez tonight on the offensive side of the ball, stay in the pocket, stay in the pocket, look downfield, let's see what your receivers are doing. Uh, you know, if you need to audible, fine, audible. But stay in the pocket, and uh, let's let's. Uh, he's kind of drifted away from that from the last few weeks, and that's okay. We've been winning, we've been getting the job done. But as we go into postseason, uh, if you will, um, it, it, we're going to face some pretty amazing defenses. And uh, Tez is, you know, he's really good at reading defenses. He's really good at when he gets underneath center. Um, looking at his defense and seeing what he's facing. But uh, tonight, repetition, let's get our kicking game on. Let's get Tez doing what he needs to do uh, as quarterback. And hopefully, maybe we'll see a little bit of Dre Martin getting some touches tonight. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, Callaway definitely outmatches Douglas County athletically. They've got the numbers. They've got the athletes. Like you said, he needs to stay in the pocket, look downfield, practice going through his progressions, checking down. He does not need to run. This is not a team you have to do that much against to beat. I mean, Callaway should win by several scores. But this is one of these games where you just have to get back to basics. With the playoffs coming up, just keep the ball on the ground. You know, throw it some, but I would just keep the ball on the ground. Don't get anybody hurt and just dominate on defense. Absolutely. Coach Wiggins, uh, I've really been impressed um, the last several games at his whole entire coaching staff. Uh, the way they have carried themselves, um, they've got a great ball team, and there's no doubt about that. Um, got some really impressive guys, and we'll get to those in just a moment. But um, before we take this break, again, just want to thank our sponsors. And uh, if you can, call a friend. Let them know. Callaway streaming live. And uh, we'll be here in just a moment. We'll go back to the station for a quick break. Eagle Sports 96.9, WLAG 1240. to 93-24 and put the life back in life insurance. The choice of a new mayor for LaGrange is a critical choice for our city. Jim Thornton is the proven leader in this race and he has the experience to know what works and what needs improvement. Jim wants a better quality of life for you and your family. Please don't miss this opportunity to make the best choice for LaGrange. Hello, I am Jim Thornton. I am asking for your vote for mayor of LaGrange. Early voting has started and you can vote at the government center downtown until November 1st or on election day, November. Pay political announcement by the friends of Jim Thornton. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football online at eaglewalk.com. All right, Rob, it looks like that uh, Coach Wiggins has talk, have talked to the officials. 
um, should have the captains uh, approaching the 50-yard line here in the next few minutes. Douglas comes out in gold helmets, black pants, uh, gold jerseys, and Callaway uh, comes out in their good-looking white jerseys, white pants, and uh, they look sharp. black helmets. Looks like they're ready to play some football. White cleats. But they're posting the colors right now. And... Uh, As they post the colors out on the 50-yard line, uh, we'll go to the. Looks like the Douglas Band will be taking care of our national anthem this evening. So it's looked like we're ready to play some football. Uh, Rob, um, tell us a little bit about your background and uh, as you're joining the team. And uh, what what are you bringing to the table for us, bro? Uh, uh, just I, I came out of Auburn. You know, I moved to Atlanta. And I went to a broadcasting school up there. You know, I, I have a little background with recruiting and stuff like that. I know a lot about Terry G Godwin and Tess Parks with his brother Ricky. Um, you know, I've always loved football. I'm moving to LaGrange very shortly. Actually, I started today. Actually, yesterday, I'll be working for Coleman Vice up there at Eagle 102.3. Uh, selling advertising, so you guys will see me around town, hopefully, in the near future. Well, fantastic. Great, great to have you a part of the Callaway team and a part of the Callaway family. Um, tonight, as we, uh, as we take on Douglas, uh, and as we look ahead in some of our guys that are critical uh, to the Callaway offense and defense, we'll be calling out guys uh, I'm sure we will call on numerous occasions. Number one, Tez Parks. Tez Parks has had a phenomenal year um, at the quarterback position. He's played a lot of defense, uh, but I know that Coach Wiggins uh, is, is going to be very careful with Tez tonight. Hopefully. And, and a lot of his key players. And when we say key players, we mean guys like number three, Devon Rosser. Uh, of course, we mentioned number four, Terry Godwin. Uh, Petey Leverett, uh, wide receiver and linebacker. Uh, Jet Snellings, uh, just go down the, the roster. Number 10, Keyshawn Freeman, which is a key uh, defensive back in our defensive scheme, no matter what team we play. Keyshawn makes up a critical role. So, uh, one thing that I'd like to see us do tonight that we've kind of struggled with, and it looked really good uh, last week, last game that we played, uh, is our special teams. And those special teams, whether it's kickoff or kickoff return or point afters, we've really struggled. But it looks like the Coach Martin has got uh, the kickers and the O-line, whatever it may be, uh, special teams got them in check and doing their job. Got Chase Freeman 
kicking extra points. Uh, no, no marking off, no walking off. It's taking two step drop and kicking it as soon as the ball is snapped. And it seems to be working. So I would imagine with Coach Wiggins, whatever works, that's what's going to happen. Uh, is the um, looks like the captains are at the 50 yard line and they're meeting. Uh, we're going to see. Hopefully, uh, we'll defer to the second half. Can't tell yet. Who won the toss? Douglas won the toss. Looks They're like Douglas. Receive. Douglas won the toss, and they will receive. So we're going to get going. So let's take a quick break before the game begins. And uh, just want to say welcome, everyone, as we're streaming live at Eagle Sports 96.9, WLAG 1240. All right, team. Let's get it lined up. We're going to run again. Just like our local head coaches invest their time, effort, and passion into our local teams, LaGrange Banking Company invests time, effort, and passion into our customers. We are committed to bringing success to Troop County for our local teams and schools, as well as our customers. That's the way to go after it. Well done, team. LaGrange Banking Company, local, just like you. LaGrange Banking Company, member FDIC. Flu season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Right now, one in three drivers is cruising around in a state of skepticism about just how much value their car insurance company is delivering. If you're one of them, State Farm Agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange can help you get to a better state. Because he'll talk with you, listen to you, and help put together a policy that has you written all over it. From cost to coverage, all backed by 24-7 customer support. Feeling less skeptical? Then call State Farm Agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange and officially get to a better state with State Farm. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agents. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-1702. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football online at Eagle1023.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Brooks uh, with my friend Rob Payne here, uh, live streaming, and Hunter Milliman, number 35, to kick off and kicks it deep. It's going to hit about the goal line. They're going to take it, bring it out. Go around about the left side, get to about the 19-yard line, and that'll do it for them. Uh, Douglas Astros, as they uh, start fresh, first and 10, at what the umpire looks like. The ref is standing about the 20-yard line, so we'll give it the 20, and uh, where the Astros take over first and 10. That was a pretty good return. Um, I thought he was going to let it go into the end zone, but apparently not. Got outside, but... The Callaway defenders did their job, brought them down around the uh, sideline. Rob, I would dare say these guys are going to pull out all the stops tonight. They're going to uh, – they have nothing to lose, everything to gain. So uh, I would agree with you there. So, number 14, uh, freshman quarterback, 6 foot, 150 pounds, uh, Johnny Ford. And timeout on the field looks like a man went in motion a little early. So, uh, flag down. It's going to go against the offense. Look like big boys moved a little bit up front, so they'll back them up five and start it again. First and 15 for the Astros. I'd be watching a trick play right here. Uh, listen, again, they have nothing to lose tonight, so Callaway should be on their, on their toes. Two men to the near side, one man in the backfield, handed off, nothing doing, trying to go up the gut. And, again, that's going to be tough to do, especially with our defensive linemen. And uh, those linebackers playing up close as they are. I really don't think Douglas is going to do a lot of passing tonight. Their formations may look like it, but uh, from my experience with Douglas, they're not a big passing team. They're just um, they're just a team that'll take the ball and uh, just run up the gut. And um, once they try to get successful with that, then they go to Plan B. But 
Uh, I would imagine Douglas carry the ball 30, 40, maybe 50 times tonight, if at all possible. Yeah, they come out in the pistol again, four wide. To the wide side, to the near. Quarterback steps back in the pocket, throwing. Pass goes incomplete, going to number five uh, for the Astros. That's Shadarius Jenkins, 6'3", 160-pound senior, uh, wide out. So it's nice. going to bring up a third and long situation for the Astros. Nice break up there by Terry Goodwin. Yeah, Terry is just a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, and we'll be calling his name out a lot. Terry has just got the ability. Uh, when that ball is up in the air, timing, you know, most kids, uh, deep ball like that, um, a lot of young kids, especially high school kids, their jump is off. It's underneath the lights. And, but Terry is just, he is just a natural born athlete, and he was made to play this game. So third down and long for the Astros. Quarterback is in the shotgun set. Takes the ball, looking to the right side, nothing doing. A lot of pressure, throws it on to a receiver. Looked to be number four, uh, but pass goes incomplete. Bring up fourth down and they'll bring on the punting unit. Callaway's gonna make a living in the backfield tonight if the first drive is any indication of how this game's gonna go. But going back to what you said about Goodwin, I mean, Goblin, he's the 18th ranked player in the country out of any position for the 2015 class. So guy's he is amazing. a heck of an athlete. The guy's amazing. And he'll show off some of that tonight as he drops deep. Uh, Block oh, punt. Punt is blocked. Is Callaway going to get on it? Looks like Dre Martin picks it up and goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Quick, quick score for Callaway and hopefully they'll keep that up all night as Callaway goes up six to nothing with a block punt. Dre Martin picks it up, walks into the end zone, nothing doing uh, for the Douglas Astros. And it looks like to me that Hunter Milliman is gonna come on for the point after attempt with Terry Godwin holding. Yeah, and as you were saying before the game, Special teams, they're really putting an emphasis on it. They really have to in the playoffs. Absolutely. The snap, the kick is good, and we're up 7 to nothing with 10.42 left in the first quarter. So we attack quickly. Again, our defense does their job as usual. And we're going to go back to the station for a quick break. Just stay tuned. Eagle Sports 96.9 WLAG 12.40 a.m. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus. All right, we're back live. Hunter Milliman got it teed up on the 40-yard line, kicking from our right to left, uh, back deep. Two, two Astros back deep, gold helmets, and Hunter Milliman kicks it. Looks like a good ball down to about the one-yard line, and they're going to bring it out. Again, going to that left side. And they're nothing doing there about the 16-yard line. Number 22 for Douglas Braxton Woodbury, 5'6", 160 pound sophomore, brings it out, bring it to the 16 yard line and they'll start fresh first and 10 uh, for Douglas. Yeah, I, I don't understand why Woodbury cut back inside. He had the entire sideline to go. He had one man out there to beat and he had a blocker out there but he read his block wrong and cut back in. Well, there's something to be said for teams that are winning, Rob, and um, guys that struggle, teams that struggle. It's evident with little things like that, the sideline is your friend. So as they start fresh first and 10, quarterback in the shotgun set, uh, two to the near side. He's going to hand it off to his, oh, he's going to keep it. Quarterback keeper on the right side. And finally a positive play. Absolutely. Picked up a couple of yards there. Looked like the tackles made by number 14, Deion Smith, the senior tight end, defensive end uh, for Callaway. And uh, bring up about a second and five uh, for the Douglas Astros. 
So a uh, little positive yardage there for them and maybe a little wake-up call. There's nothing like getting those helmets and, and hitting helmets and getting everybody ready to play football. You're right, Brandon. They come out in the shotgun for the first time tonight. They've been in the pistol all night. That looked like a design run. Second down, quarterback's going to keep it, go to the left side, and he's quickly tackled by number 10, Dre Martin. But it looks like, uh, I'm sorry, Keyshawn Freeman, but uh, looks like he's going to pick up the first down. Yeah, another good design run there. I think it was a quarterback smash, almost like the Wildcat that you see at a lot of colleges, especially Auburn being down in Hogansville, guys. But um, as Douglas runs the play in, you know, you Callaway really has to work on this tonight stopping people running up the middle because in the playoffs teams are going to keep it on the ground as it gets colder and colder and colder yeah absolutely absolutely well we got a uh, freshman quarterback in there now hands it off nothing doing um, you know they ran that ball behind a really big fella for Douglas number 72 uh, Raquez Whitaker 6'3 240 pound sophomore and if I was a running back, I wouldn't mind running behind that big guy either. No, for 3A, that's a pretty big kid, especially in the inner city playing, you know, offensive line as they come out in the pistol formation again. Douglas is coming out. They're pretty physical on their second drive. Maybe they've woken up some. Maybe so. Second down, again in the shotgun set. Just one back in the backfield, two to the near side. He's going to hand it off to his running back, number 10. And he is tackled right about the line of scrimmage. Don't know if he'll pick up anything there. But uh, both on the two guys on the tackle, Petey Leverett, uh, number five. Um, he's always coming from that safety position. And, of course, Terry Godwin, number four. Uh, anything to his side, you're going to see his helmet in on the tackle. So it brings up uh, third down and about seven uh, for the Astros. So we'll see what kind of play they got going on here. Maybe, just maybe, we'll see him pass the ball a little bit. Maybe. But the way they're running the ball, why not keep it on the ground with that secondary that Callaway has? Everybody's everybody's defending up tight for the Callaway Cavaliers. Uh, quarterback takes a snap on this third down, a little quick out to number 10. He catches it about the 30-yard line, makes it up to about the 38, maybe a first down. Not really sure, depending on the spot of the ball, but they might have picked up a first down on that, Rob. It, it looks like looks like they're going to take a timeout to measure Great play by the uh, by Douglas County on the rollout to hit the halfback in the flats. He had one on one. I thought I thought Callaway was going to stop him short. They had him corralled up, but the running back made a pretty good move and ran through a tackle and almost got the first down. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Looks like they're going to pull the chains out and measure it. Looks like we got an updated score on the uh, Troop Lagrange game. Lagrange is up eight to six on Troop in the first quarter. If they're into first quarter, so um, we'll keep you updated on that game as well. But uh, as they measure. Looks Let's like they're see. having a little difficulty out there. <laughs> and they had to come a whole, what, three foot to yeah. measure it? So uh, must be pretty close. But they're it short of the first down. So I'm sure nothing I'm sure they'll nothing go for doing it. here. You think they'll go for it? Oh, I, yeah, after that blocked punt. Maybe so. Maybe so. But they're about a, they're about a six, seven inches short. So um, looks like they're staying in there, going forward on fourth down. Uh, defense will be up super tight here. Uh, they'll be in the goal line, and uh, and as as you said earlier, I, I mean I don't I don't see if, if it being an inches situation or a few yards. I don't see Douglas punting. Yeah, I really I, yeah, don't. I don't either. Especially with this big uh, left guard they've got. Um, uh, it seems like to me they could hand it off. Looks like they're they're favoring number ten Ezekiel Ijoku, a five five hundred fifty pound quarterback slash running back and uh, seem to go to him, but looks like number 14 is going to stay in there. Johnny Ford, their quarterback, which is a freshman. Um, <laughs> so you, you re can't re really expect a lot out of the, the freshman. But nonetheless, he's getting a lot of play in time so far here in this game, and everybody is up tight on the line of scrimmage. Quarterback keeper, and he's just going to push ahead. He'll probably looks pick like up he the got first it. down there. Yeah, he got it. Good press there off uh, the line of scrimmage for the offensive line for Douglas. And again, that's something that we have always we have always done at Callaway for the most part. We have always been a team of speed. We've never, uh, as long as I've been around and really since the inception of the school, 
we have always had speed, but when it comes to size, we've never really had that size. And that's a perfect example of what size can do for you. Yeah. Mass moves mass. So that's exactly what Douglas did to pick up the first down. And going back on the history of Cowley players that have played at Auburn and Georgia and the area schools, they've usually been at the skill slots, you know, the wide receivers, safeties, and corners. Right, right. So first and 10 for Douglas uh, in the shotgun set. Quarterback takes a snap, going to the right side. He's going to keep it. Nothing doing. 52. Big uh, Justice Perkins hits him in the backfield for a loss. It's probably going to be a four-yard loss, at least a three, but that will bring up second uh, and a long 13-14 for the Douglas Astros. You wonder why he didn't pitch it. He, he had the speed option out to the near side. Pitch man was open. Callaway's defense completely crushed him. Yeah, now. Justice was all over that one. And everybody was playing quarterback on that option. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's, it's good to see Justice getting through, um, shaking off his man and getting in the backfield. He's just a big kid, and you'll see him. He'll wrap his arms around, and he'll hold on for dear life. And that's one good thing. I've known Justice a long time. So here on second down, nothing doing. There's Justice again, number 52 in the backfield. Second go round for him as he uh, drops the running back for a loss. That looked like a Nick Fairley play. Man, that was awesome. He got by his guy, just literally blew him off, and uh, it's going to be a long, long way to the first down oh, marker yeah. for Douglas. That his first steps very impressive. He's got a very explosive first three steps, and that's what colleges really look for from an interior defensive lineman is physicality and their first step. They want to see him fire off the ball, and you saw that right there. It's good to see Justice making a making uh, his number stand out tonight. And on that third down, looks like they're going to call timeout. Douglas is going to talk about it, and we'll go uh, back to the station for a quick break. Eagle Sports, 96.9 WLAG, 1240 AM. Hi friends, Jess Lichter here with Kia of LaGrange. We're putting the giving in Thanksgiving this month with some great deals. Like the stylish 2013 Kia Optima for only $19.9. That's backed by Kia's industry-leading 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Come by Kia of LaGrange today and find out what being a part of the family is all about. Our sales staff is focused on finding you the right car for the right price, hassle-free. Come visit us online at kiaoflagrange.com and help support your local economy. Well, we're open at eight, so don't be late. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, Callaway Cavaliers, you're back here. I'm Brandon Brooks with Rob Payne. We're at uh, at Lakeview, Lakeside, Lake Woods, Lake Stadium. Woods <laughs> up in Atlanta, Georgia. Beautiful <laughs> complex here. But uh, the Callaway defense has done a phenomenal job. Justice Perkins' last two plays has hit the man in the backfield and for an amazing loss. Uh, so, looks like Douglas is up third and long. Quarterback in the shotgun set takes the ball. He's oh. going to oh, he's going to pitch it out pitch. to his going to pitch it out to his running back number ten, which has been his go-to man all night. Ezekiel Ajoku, the five-five uh, freshman quarterback slash uh, running back, and looks like he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage and it'll bring up fourth and ten. And if they don't punt on this one, well, that's why I'm up in the booth. I'm not the coach. But uh, fourth and ten looks like they're in the punting formation. Yes, sir. Orange shoes has come out. <laughs> so you always know that's the punter. <laughs> the snap. The Almost kick, got it again. It's off. Yeah, they are. And really going to come out good for them. It's going to go down to about the Callaway 29-yard line where they'll pick it up and we'll start fresh. Our offense will come out on the field and we'll take a quick break back to the station and we'll be right back. Uh, again, tune us in if you would. Eagle Sports 96.9 WLAG 1240 AM. Life insurance is one of those subjects that make people want to change the subject rather than admit they probably don't have enough. And that's why State Farm agent Mabel Smith Sharp in LaGrange focuses on how the benefits of life insurance actually lives on by asking people to think in terms of life without having to sell the house insurance or life without having to give up college insurance. Find out how the benefits of life insurance can live on for your family. Call State Farm agent Mabel Smith Sharp in LaGrange at 706-882-9324 and put the life back in life insurance. 
Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, welcome back. Tez Park starting fresh. The snap handed off to number three. He's going to go around the right side. Of course, that's big Devon Rosser, and he's still on his feet. He's to the 40. <laughs> wow. He's to midfield at the 50, and he's shoestring tackled. I mean, he missed a number of tackles. But number four for Douglas, that's Cortez Banks, the 6'1", uh, sophomore, 185-pounder uh, tackles Devon Rosser. And they're going to spot the ball at the 42-yard line of Douglas. And looks like, looks like it's... Of course, going to be first down, but looks like Tez Parks is trying to get the quick snap in. He's at a shotgun set. Two men to the wide side, or the near side, I should say. Deep pass, Godwin. Tez Parks down. Terry Godwin goes up, and ladies and gentlemen, what Tez Parks has done all year, he goes up over the man, Terry Godwin. Tez Parks to Terry Godwin. How many times have we said that combination throughout the year? A lot. Terry Godwin, like I was telling you, Rob, before the game, Terry Godwin has an amazing ability to watch the ball, not give away his eyes, looks elsewhere, and at the last minute jumps up over the defender and makes the touchdown catch. A 42-yard reception. Hunter Milliman on for the point after attempt. Terry Godwin looking out. Looks like Tez is holding for him. Tez, the snap, the kick oh, is blocked. blocked. And it's going to be no good, of course. So with 4.50 left in the first quarter, uh, your Callaway Cavaliers are up 13-0. to zero. Eagles Sports, 96.9 WLAG 1240. Boys for our city. Jim Thornton is the proven leader in this race, and he has the experience to know what works and what needs improvement. Jim wants a better quality of life for you and your family. Please don't miss this opportunity to make the best for LaGrange. Hello, I am Jim Thornton. I am asking for your vote for mayor of LaGrange. Early voting has started, and you can vote at the government center downtown until November 1st or on election day, November 5th. Pay political announcement by the friends of Jim Thornton. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. Well, Rob, I can't think of a better game for you to see the athletic ability of Terry Godwin. I'm Brandon Brooks here with Rob, uh, and we are uh, watching our Callaway Cavaliers up on the Douglas Astros as Hunter Milliman kicks it off back deep for the Douglas Astros, gets it at the nine yard line, takes it out to and gets about the 24. So not bad on the run back uh, by number 10, which has been their go-to man all night, flag. Ezekiel Ajaku. And there is a flag on the field. But Let's see what it is. Going back to that touchdown pass, yeah, Tez Parks just dropped back. And I mean, it, it's honestly like he decided before the play even <laughs> started where he was going. And if I had the number 18th ranked player in the country at wide receiver, I would too. I mean, he, he, he had a great throw, great touch on the football. You know, Godwin went down the end zone and really jumped over somebody. Like you were saying, he has outstanding ball skills. Just to, his ability to go up and get it. Defender's hands was in his face. He had good coverage on the guy. It didn't matter. Right. Godwin just, as we say, Randy mossed him. He yeah. went over him yes. and caught it, pulled it down for a touchdown. Absolutely. Well, it looks like uh, Douglas will take over. Um, looks like it's going to go against the Callaway Cavaliers and not really sure what happened there, but um, they're going to bring the ball up and spot it at the 39-yard line of Douglas, and they're going to take over first and 10 there. Um, must have been, had to have been a maybe personal a, foul. Maybe, a, yeah, because it came in late, maybe a late hit, maybe a face mask or something. I really don't know. I didn't see it. All right, well, looks like, um, like the quarterback again will be in the shotgun set. The snap to number 14, he rolls, uh, not really a pocket, but throws wide to his main go-to guy, Ezekiel Ajoku, 5'5", 150-pound uh, freshman. And again, Justice Perkins is taking advantage of that left guard. And when they line up, we'll try to get a number on that for Douglas. But Justice is doing a phenomenal job on defense. Uh, the defense is looking solid. Everybody is looking good. and. Um, it's good to see him, but uh, I think it's going to be number 54 for the Douglas Astros, uh, Virgil Bishai, six-foot, 240-pound yeah. senior, 
And boy, that's a lot to be said, senior against senior there. So One's dominating the other. <laughs> absolutely. Second and ten, quarterback takes the ball, hands it off to his running back, number ten, flags all over the place. Hey, Fumble fellas. on the play. Looks like number five is going to pick it up. Petey Leverett, and he's going to take it all the way in for the touchdown. The umpires are calling the touchdown. We're just not sure. Let's see what these flags yeah. are. Hopefully they'll be against Douglas and – that was that was either a really big hold or a clip because he took the guy down. It looked like he even tackled him on the uh, on the penalty there. So this touchdown will stand. Uh, Callaway will probably decline it. Yeah, holding. Callaway will probably wow. decline. Wow. Four nineteen. Four nineteen left in the first quarter. Your Callaway Cavaliers have gone up on the Douglas Astros nineteen to nothing. Uh, Hunter Milliman comes on to get that point after attempt and. Uh, while wow, they are just attacking left and right. So it'll be interesting to see what Coach Wiggins and his staff does as we are up 19 to nothing so far uh, as Terry Godwin comes on to hold for Hunter Milliman on the point after attempt. And honestly, the kick is up and it's good. And honestly, from a Callaway perspective, defensive touchdowns are what you want, so your offensive players aren't going to be out there and risk an injury. Absolutely. Coach Dusty Hubbard, the defensive coordinator, he is really enjoying what he's seeing. And I'm looking over on the Callaway sideline, and it, those of you who are part of the Callaway family and know Coach Hubbard, he's just walking around and. Normally, he's bouncing off the walls. He's well, pretty uh, at ease tonight. He's, he's feeling at ease, so it's good to see Dusty. Dusty's done a phenomenal job with this defense and um, uh, really proud of what we're seeing in the Callaway Cavaliers uh, so far in this game. So, Hunter Milliman, again, the place kicker. Looks like he's doing most of the kicking tonight. Uh, probably need to check out and get a report on Chase Freeman to see what's going on with him. I'm sure we'll see him later on in the game, but uh, Hunter Milliman on, number 35, to kick off deep for the Callaway Cavaliers as Douglas has two men deep standing on about the 10-yard line, kicking from right to left. And it looks like it's going to be to the right side. Uh-oh. Number 10, he breaks to the outside, gets to about the 25-yard line, and he'll be tackled. Uh, looks like number 15, and that's my man, number 15, Cedric Maynard. And we will see a lot of him tonight. I really like the ball skills uh, and running back and tackling ability of young Cedric Maynard, a young man on this team. But uh, we'll be calling his name out for several years to come. Uh, sophomore, great kid. But on that return, as a general rule on kickoff, you want to really stay in your lane. And I saw the two end guys on the far side. I didn't get their numbers. They really crashed down inside, and it allowed the uh, Douglas County returner to get outside and get some extra yards. Yeah, yeah, it was it was really good to see everybody staying in the lanes on special teams and going down and handling business. So the quarterback takes it, uh, quick snap. Goes to the right fumble. side. Fumble on the play. Goes right into the hands <laughs> of number seven, Jet Snellings. And ladies and gentlemen, he's going to take it in the end zone for a 25-yard run. Defensive touchdown. Looks like to me about the third one tonight. I hope you are watching, following us live. Go to 1023.com, eagle1023.com, and you can check it out. This is an amazing defensive game. Uh, is the Callaway Cavaliers are showing out tonight against the Douglas Astros, and they have gone up with 3.56 left in the first quarter, 26-0. Hunter Milliman on to the point after. 